Hi, I'm Tash. Hi, I'm Jake. And welcome to the Ashford College Spotlight Podcast. Today we've got two art students with us. We have Leah and Jess. So, Leah, Jess, tell us a bit about yourself. I'm 16. I live not too far away, but I'm actually from Yorkshire, so you can probably tell from the accent, but yeah. I've got a bit of a southern twang as well. Fair enough. Yeah, so um, Ashford's a bit different for me. I live like four hours away from here, so it's all a bit yeah, of course. Yeah. But, yeah. What about you, Jess? Um, I'm Jess, as you already like introduced me. I'm 17, and I've lived in Ashford my whole life. Thanks awesome. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think the best question to start off with is, what course are you guys on? Uh, we're both on level three art and design. Awesome. That's really cool. So what kind of things does that like entail? What do you guys do on the course, project-wise, stuff like that? So our year is split into three different modules. So we're on our second one now, which is decay and rebirth. So it's basically we did a lot of recycling old materials and using different pieces of artwork that people have done in the past and creating our own versions on our own takes and stuff like that on them yeah that's really cool that's pretty cool that is really cool i mean that kind of answers our question of uh what you guys kind of working on at the moment (laughs) but um in relation to that do you are you guys doing any any artwork at home i live next to like a nice field where there's church and stuff like that so Mm -hmm. i do some drawings of that in some spare time when i'm not working <laughs> of course what about you Jess do you do anything at home at all I sometimes I like, do like little sketches of just like anything really like I see on Pinterest or something in my spare time yet again but most of the time it's just catch up art like mm. based on like the project I'm working on and stuff yeah of course so what is your favorite piece of artwork that you have done this week I'd probably say my final piece for this project is my favourite at the moment, just because of how much time I spent on it and it's come out in a completely different way to what I thought it would, but I really love the outcome. Yeah, in the best way that you can. Could you describe it to us? What is it? So it's, I'm intrigued. Um, <laughs> it's a, quite a large canvas. Mm-hmm. Um, it's sort of like a rectangle and in the middle it's got a circle and basically uh, my project's all about mental health and mm-hmm. stuff like seeing things from different lights so it's basically a horizon with the sea and a stormy sky on the background and then in the circle it's going to be like a really nice calm sea with a really lovely sunset then a line drawing of a girl in the middle who's sort of like either rising or sinking it depends which way you're looking at of course that's beautiful what about you i feel like my favorite piece i've done is probably from the last project we did um which was our final piece it was basically like a box but it was based on like trust issues i don't know how to describe it it was like a model Mm -hmm. but there was like lots of like symbolic elements and stuff yeah of course like relating to trust issues Mm. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's funny because listening to them talk, obviously me and Jake do music. Like there's a lot of similarities within yeah, music and art. Like the symbolism and like the research that you have to do for it. I'm assuming that's quite similar. Um, I mean, I, yeah. can, I can imagine it's all, you know, even though different courses, it's yeah. all similar process, you know, that you have to follow. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I, I really like both of <laughs> what you're doing. But when you finish the course, what do you want to do? What's, what's your future goals? Well, I want to go into interior design or cool. architecture. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. cool. Yeah. Um, but I want to go to the University of Bath just because I really like the city mm-hmm. as well as it's one of the Yeah, top I've heard good things. Yeah. yeah. Of course. And what about you, Jess? Um, I kind of want to go into like fashion design and stuff. So mm-hmm. I'd love to go to London to do like study fashion in uni there. Awesome. That's, That's cool. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, speaking of like going into the industry and what you guys want to do, is there anything that you have done through the college to do with work experience? Anything that you've enjoyed that you could tell us about at all? Um, well, we did an art show, which was to raise money for the Afghan refugees. And basically we put our art up on like display and people could buy it. And like any money we made was donated to the charity. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. That's I think really we ended up really raising good. like 180 pounds or something like that, which oh, wow. really <laughs> even a little bit would have been enough. That is yeah, amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, and do you think that anything like that would ever be organised again? Like, would you be well into... Oh, definitely. Yeah, of in course. Actually, we've actually got a, another art show coming up, and I think it's around June or July. Yeah, I think it's around either the 19th or the 24th. 
Jane. Yeah, I'm sure when it comes around, we will go out of our way to make sure that we talk about it on the podcast yes, during the absolutely. news segment. So speaking of moving on to segments, this is perhaps my new favourite segment, to be completely honest with you, yeah, is the hot take <laughs> questions segment. We are going to ask you guys a couple of questions. Um, you can both answer each one and answer as quickly as you can in either one word or a short phrase. Yeah, small phrases, you know. Yeah. Very minimal. Okay. Yep. Awesome. All right. Ready? Yep. Who's your biggest inspiration? Uh, my mum. Probably Paul. <laughs> what is your favourite art museum? The uh, Tate. Uh, yeah, I'd say the Louvre. Okay. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, mine would have to be. I know some people are so controversial, but it's uh, chicken and waffles. I absolutely what? love I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. I've heard the combination. I've never tried oh, it. Yeah, yeah, honestly. It's what about you, Jess? I haven't expected that. <laughs> <laughs> First time I've heard this. Um... Probably just Kinder Chocolate, oh. to be honest. I can just live on that stuff. Or Cucumber. <laughs> That's such a weird combination. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Just raw cucumber for yeah. the rest of your life. To be honest, I could do it. But I think Kinder Chocolate <laughs> would be the best. Yeah. <laughs> kinder sounds the better option. Yeah, 100%. Hey, no, raw cucumber or If you could kinder, pick hey. a different course to do at college, what course would you pick? Probably music. Yeah, I was going to say music. Awesome. Well, that's what we like to hear. (laughs) Pepsi or Coke? Oh, definitely Coke. They taste the same, don't they? Oh, my God. Definitely not. Definitely not. Well, I'll just say Coke. God, that that was really controversial. Oh, my goodness. I mean, Coke's the original, so I'll go for that. (laughs) What is your favourite art form? Oh, probably. I don't know, probably abstract. Awesome. Ooh. I like like minimalistic, so like line drawings and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't that's know what really that would cool. Under, though. I think it's abstract. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I guess it's like two different styles of abstract. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot yeah. of different mm-hmm. forms in there. This is the really important question, Jake. Is cereal soup? No. No. G- good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. If you answered any differently, that was like yeah. that was what it all came down to. It's is different. cereal is it's soup. Got milk and bits in it. <laughs> and finally, if you could meet one artist from any era, who would you want to meet? Oh, Hawk Is that how I say it? Yeah. Mine would have to be Van Gogh. Awesome. I really love his work. I don't really know much about art, but I do like his artwork. Yeah. I do yeah. like his artwork. Sunflower Fields are uh, top tier. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so moving on to our next segment, you guys are going to stay with us and put in your opinion on everything that's going on in college at the moment. What's going on in college now, Tash? Um, So we've got enrichment on as usual in the music department. We've got DJing, Ableton, uh, guitar lessons, piano lessons, basically everything. Vocal tutoring start next week with me and Romy, I believe. I don't know if you guys have anything on during enrichment. Do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, we, um, after our lesson, we have uh, just a, like a really informal art sort of enrichment, which actually has some of the stuff that we do in our actual lessons. So it's yeah. not sort of we're going to like baby you and be, this is how to sort of draw or else anything. It's actually yeah. quite technical and stuff like that. It's, it's like print making techniques and everything. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. quite nice. Oh, that's, yeah, that that's, really, cool. that's really cool. And then yeah. obviously we've still got badminton on, John's favourite, yes. throwback to the first episode. Yeah. Yeah, oh. he loves a bit of badminton. Who doesn't? Badminton's great. <laughs> to be honest, me, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, enough, I'm not very good at it, to nah. be completely honest <laughs> with you. That's that's my thing with it. I'm not very good at badminton yeah. or tennis or anything to do with hitting a ball with a racket. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, ba- I'm all right at badminton. I'm, I suck at tennis, I'll be honest. <laughs> It's fun, but it's like, oh, I keep missing, you lose, and it's like, no. (laughs) It's not fun. So, just a reminder, last week I mentioned about UCAS. They are due in on the 26th of Feb, and if you're, you know, having, you just need uh, help with it, or just any pointers or advisories, talk to Tom in the eHub. He will massively help you out. He, uh, I know a lot in our class during our project, it's heavily involved with like university applications and he helped us out massively with that. Find him, once again, in the e-hub, in his little corner. You can't miss it. 
Awesome. So another thing that we have coming up is the Open Day on the 24th of Feb, which I am really looking forward to because yeah. it's not a virtual one anymore. People are oh, allowed to people come in. in. Yeah, so we can give them tours around the studio, um, DJ tutorials. I don't know, Do you, have you guys ever volunteered at the Open Days? Me and my friends did before. Everyone came in, they did a bit of screen printing and got to take it home with them so that awesome yeah awesome. that's really cool i think it's just a nice thing to let people kind of have a glimpse of yeah. ashford yeah. college without the pressure of actually having to come here for the first day yeah. and stuff like that big news in the cafe free breakfast in the morning so say if uh, you have to get up early and you get to college by a train or bus and you don't have time to have breakfast in the morning just pop down to the cafe yeah, you'll be there, fine. You can have anything there. Croissants, sausage rolls. Sausage rolls, bacon, bacon, hash browns. We did ask Ben last week what he would have for his free breakfast, so we are going to have to ask you guys. Um, sausage oh. roll, bacon on a roll, hash brown, croissant, what are you wanting? I think it, everything. Yeah, <laughs> if I could, oh. I would. But I think it would be either probably a bacon roll or a croissant. It depends what goes in there. Okay, so the next thing that I have to talk about, which is exciting, and it is also new info that I have been told. In the coming years, the college are going to be organising a trip to New York and Paris. Ooh. Very fancy. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so that's something that's coming up. Obviously, we were talking about you guys' favourite museums earlier. In Paris, there are many art museums. So I feel like that would probably be a great trip for you guys to go on. There's so many Definitely. monumental art pieces in Paris. I'd, I'd honestly like to go. Yeah. yeah, the fashion in Paris yeah. is amazing. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I just think it's such a great thing um, for the college to be putting on, to like be given these opportunities, because obviously like, it's a lot of money to go on holiday. Yeah. And when I was talking to some of the shooters about it, they were obviously saying they're trying to find a way to make it relatively affordable for students to be able to go and have that opportunity to do that so we're moving on to our next topic last week we were talking about work experience this week we are talking about social media and how social media influencers paint a perfect life to teens that make them feel like they have to live up to something um and how it impacts their mental health and what could be done to resolve the issue does anyone have any opinions on that at all um, I actually find it quite funny because at the moment there's a thing going around about Kim Kardashian and her shadows or something in her Instagram post. I've not heard anything no, about that, you no. must tell. She was like standing in one of her pictures and in the shadow she was like doing like a peace sign, mm -hmm. but in the actual picture she wasn't. So it was completely flawed, but you thought like, how would they completely miss that? But I think that... It actually ruins the illusion for me that yeah. they aren't perfect people. They do have to Photoshop and airbrush every single thing that they do. But it shows that they have like the same insecurities that everyday people. Have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're just they're humans. Yeah. yeah. I know on social media, it's very easy to put them on a pedestal, in you know, in almost like an online following. They have millions yeah. and millions of followers. Very easy to put them almost in like a god or goddess sort of like status. And I think maybe, I don't know, on their ends, they could perhaps release content that shows them, you know, they're, yeah. they're you know, they're, they're human. Not yeah. some god or goddess, they're human. Really they make mistakes. happiness. Yeah. Because when they're editing, it's like teaching people who are looking at their posts that you need to edit to achieve. Yeah, it's, I, th I find it quite, like, harmful, especially yeah. to teenage girls. I mean, even to boys as well, um, where... People like airbrush their face so that it looks perfectly smooth. There's no pores whatsoever. There's like no flaws to their face. They have yeah. like that perfect shaped face that it's just kind of creating this false image that you have to look like that to be yeah. beautiful. Because like, I know myself when yeah. I look at like images of them, I'm like, why don't I look like that? And mm. then I remember like, it's not natural. Yeah, it's it's, not yeah there's no, no way. But yeah, of course. I just think that, like, obviously it can be quite damaging. I think something that I noticed that they've done recently is started removing the likes on pictures so you can't see how many people have liked a post. I think that's quite cool because I feel like some people rely on the amount of likes that they get for, like, yeah. validation. The amount of followers as well. It's, mm -hmm. I think it should just be the people you know to see the real you. Like, mm. yeah, yeah, you can branch out and... Have other friends online and, you know, meet whoever you want. But 
be the real you. You don't have to be airbrushed, even your personalities. Like, yeah. Perfect the way you are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Definitely, I agree. Yeah. I mean, I think more can be done from ev- everyone to an extent. Uh, just kind of just to show that no one needs to be airbrushed. No one needs to, you know, have silky smooth skin like you see in Instagram yeah. posts. I think awareness uh, that we've all got our flaws. I think more awareness that you know we're imperfect. Mm-hmm. I think that would be the best way to almost combat this. I guess you could say it's pandemics. Every, yeah. It's heavily affected a lot of people's mental health. And yeah, I think awareness. I think that's the key word here. Yeah. Yeah. The points I'm trying to make. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, I think that there's some stuff that schools could do. Like I know a lot of schools, primary schools in general, do like lessons on like cyberbullying and stuff like that, which I think is great. Yeah. But I think even doing lessons on the fact that a lot of things in social media that you see aren't real. Like I don't know if you guys have seen that face app. And it like yeah. you can literally f- edit a full face of makeup onto your face, and it looks like yeah. real. Like it's crazy. It's yeah. it's so harmful. It's really not a good thing. It's even down to like lifestyle as well, because when you see like these celebrities living their life, lots of people are like, "Why are you complaining? You have the perfect lifestyle," but they don't necessarily because they're getting like hate for everything all the time. Mm-hmm. So people are thinking, "Oh, I want to be like famous, to be rich, and like have an amazing life." But mm-hmm. in it's reality, not what it's about to do. yeah, no. they get hate for things and. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I do think that there's a lot more that could be done about it, especially for kids our age, because we're quite impressionable at this age. Yeah, very easily influenced. Yeah, of course. Um, I think that was a really great topic to talk about, and I feel like that could probably entice more listeners, hopefully. I just think that, so every week we're going to have a topic about stuff like that. We do have links on the Ashford College Instagram page to the YouTube channel, and... If you see me about college, we've said before, me or Jake, don't be shy. Come up and if there's something that you want us to talk about at this segment at the end, you're more than welcome to give us suggestions or even just suggestions for stuff that we could talk about on the podcast in general. Or if you are a student and you're doing a course that isn't music or art, as we've already had music and art (laughs) guests, you're more than welcome to volunteer to be our next guest. Yeah, so it's been great having you guys. It's been really lovely. It's been a great chat. I have been Tash. I've been Jake. And thank you for listening to the Ashford College Spotlight Podcast. Mm